Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good one today. I'm the Metal Junkie, and today I'm going to be doing the track The Sleep by Pantera off of Cowboys from Hell. We're doing the whole album, guys, so stick around. I got the lyrics here. I am willing to bet $100 or even more, a million dollars, that this song will not put me to sleep. <laughs> Hopefully, because uh, the rest of these tracks have been so intense, so groovy, so great. So I can't see this one be any different. And I'm guessing just from a band like this, to call a song The Sleep, maybe they mean death. That's just the first thing that popped in my head when I read the, the title of this one. So let's dive in. have to stop it uh so far i just want to say the intro with the acoustic sounds so clear so great great picking it really reminded me of diary of a madman the riff it it had almost the same flow to it but then we get into this riff right here this heavy ass thing it's just so gangster burn it burn it it's so cool i never heard anything like that before we're going back a bit We got an interesting uh, double voice there on a few of the lines. I wonder if that's just Phil uh, being mixed in studio to have both his tracks going, like two different versions of him, or is that one of the other band members? Let me know in the comments. And how the hell did he come up with that riff? That burn it, burn it. Da, da, da. It is so cool, man. Unbelievably badass. Um songs like about questioning the world and being against the odds and will they prevail will they wake up from their sleep uh interesting lyrics uh, I'll, I'll have to think about it a little bit more before i give my final thoughts Back to intro. Doesn't that remind you of Diary of a Madman?
solo. solo when we it we got an extended version it came back i wasn't expecting them to bring back that intro and they did it a few times but the way they transitioned in and out of it was this flawless to me it was so seamless they had this like heavy and the acoustics come back and everything just flowed so well and that solo was technical it was fast it had melody it was everything the full package man dimebag is not joking around and then we bring in this badass riff back that I love, the verse riff. Uh, interesting enough, during the solo, the rhythm was, like, set back. It was, like, really slow, I found, compared to the rest of the song. It just was a little odd to me. But aside from that, stellar, stellar track. This question off my mind. Will we survive this night? could honestly take that riff all day it's just so damn juicy so good oh i love it when phil does those highs too he really brings out the rob halford in him <laughs> he does it so good too i almost wish he would stay there sometimes in those highs this is a kick-ass track uh the sleep i think they're just worried uh if they're gonna make it from day to day you know being against the odds and that who knows if we'll even survive the night uh, interesting uh, I didn't do a huge deep dive into the lyrics but the music was so tasty so good mm. from the solo to the verse to the chorus everything just was so damn good my only little nitpick it's not even really a nitpick it's just that the rhythm seemed a bit odd it was a bit slow and lacking during the solo but aside from that friggin badass track we only got one left and it's called the art of shredding and, dude, Dimebag has been shredding this whole goddamn album, so I'm excited to see what the hell that's all about. The last track of the album, too. So I bet they're going to go with a bang. You guys don't want to miss that, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and all that jazz. And you can go check out all my other reactions to Pantera, Pantera that I have done on the channel. And that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, thanks for watching.